Definitely one of the things I tell people as soon as they get a, a new smartphone, especially when it's a high-end smartphone, is check out your camera settings and see what you can do inside the camera. A lot of people don't do that, so you don't realize how powerful your camera can be. The one inside the uh, Galaxy Nexus and Android 4.0, this is basically the stock one that's going to come with it if it's just a stock experience. And it has zero shutter lag, so that means you can hit this several times to take several pictures, and it'll just keep going and going and going and going, as you can see right there. You can also tap the focus like that as well too before you take a shot. But it doesn't have what what you call sort of two two stage camera button, a virtual one, so you can't hold it down and focus at the same time. So when you tap that, you have to be make sure that you really um, really have the picture in a good clear angle to make sure you can get those pictures that you want in a nice in a nice and clear way. Or if you hit, keep tapping it, you're gonna get some blurry images. You can zoom in as you can see there. You can change cameras, you can go to the uh, front facing camera like that, you can see me there waving, tap back to go to the, whoop, one more time, back there to the rear facing camera. You also have right here the options for, this is just a standard picture taking, you can choose, hit there, you can choose to go to video, as you can see there, and you got a lot of the similar options as well too. You also have a panoramic mode to take a panoramic shot, that basically means, sort of works like this, is, um, I'll hit this here, and as I move around, it's going to try and give me a panoramic shot as it kind of records all around the the pretty much what you're the picture or what you're kind of viewing around you and such. And I'm going to stop it there. It's not going to come out very well, but you kind of get the idea there, and it gives you the, sort of that nice panoramic shot there. And uh, we'll cancel the saving there. We don't need to save that. We'll head back over here to pictures. And you see this icon here for settings, so you can see your settings here for flash, um, your white balance, your exposure, what type of scene you want. With the little menu button, you can choose choose which me megapixels you want. Store you store location. So if you want the GPS location store within a picture, you can have that as well too. Similar options available when you choose video. Different, you know, if you want the flash on or off, auto white balance, scene modes. Um, different effects that you can have, different backgrounds that you can have when using it, time lapse intervals, you know, if you want in 1080p your resolution you can choose there, and you can choose the store location for the video as well too. So that's just some basic features of the, just a stock camera application, so definitely search through those and see how you want your settings to be and get the best picture possible. All right, after taking all those pictures and stuff, you're definitely going to want to kind of edit them or manipulate them in some way. One of the nice things that the uh, Android 4.0 does have is the ability to sort of edit photos within here. So we'll go here through the gallery, we'll choose one of those Mario pictures, try to choose a clear one, we'll choose that one there. And what you can do, we'll turn it here into landscape mode here, you can actually edit the photo itself. So if you want to um, edit, go like that, and it gives you actually some pretty cool options to change you know, some of the effects on it if you want to, if you want documentary like that, you can you can warmify it if you want to. You can choose how you want to make it cool like that, or you want to make it really warm, however you want to do it. Make it really cold there. Change here. You can fill light. We can add some fill light to it like that. And we can crop it as well too. Crop, red eye, straighten, rotate, we'll slide over here, flip, sharpen, things like that. As you can see. And we'll crop it maybe. We'll just crop to maybe just that point there. Be a little light like that. Just get the idea in there. Alright, we'll crop it like that, hit crop, there you go, you see it crops in like that, and you can save it. Now when you save it over, it picked, it, it saves a different version of it, so you, you still have your original available. You can easily share them out, just by hitting the share button to wherever you want to share them to. Now, not only can you do that for pictures, but we'll also check out here, going back to the um, app tray, the movie studio as well too. And just cool to give you a full featured movie studio. And um, we can create a new project within here. We'll call it TR, TRD, I suppose. Just a quick name to type in. And um, you can edit this along as you want to, too. This should work in landscape mode. You have the full timeline here, and you can add, um, you can record a video or import video clips. So we can bring this in if we want to. And we can also add um, some images as well, too. So we'll add that image. Just obviously just mixing things up here. And you can move them across the timeline as you want to. And um, let's say you want to move this over to here. You should be able to hold and 
move it down. You can switch where the positions that they're in. You can add a soundtrack to it as well too. So if you have some music on here, you can have you can add that on there as well too. And you can easily um, from that point export the movie and it's definitely different options you to choose from all the way up to uh, 1920 by 1080 now a little bit larger files sizes aren't going to upload to the to via youtube unless it's on wi-fi or something like that but um in most cases you can see here you can upload 8 by 480 or if you want to upload a little bit higher than that um, export higher than that obviously i mean and you can change from low medium and um high quality there so definitely check out the uh, the gallery app to edit your photos and also check out the video application as well too the movie studio application to edit your videos all right and as an android user you do have the music application available using google music or music by google whichever way you want to name it it's called the music application and basically here not only can you um basically download stuff from your computer onto here but you can also upload to your google music uh serve service as well too you get up to twenty thousand songs you can upload it there and you can stream it across your phone as well too best over a, obviously a 4g connection but that, that's another way you can sort of access your music here and it's a nice basic player it doesn't give you um everything that you'd be looking for but it gives you a good amount of it and you can go to a song and you see the album artwork there, too many devices when you use, obviously I got a few of them. So it won't use this one, you can only use up to 10, but you can hit play there and play music, skip and all that stuff. You can get more information about it, you can shrink this down a little bit too, we should be able to, probably because it isn't playing, that's probably why I won't play it, but you see the mini player there. And you can also buy stuff from the um, music store as well too, that Google is also included, so you can buy and download tracks on, that will download to your Google Music Cloud, and you can put them on here. You can also cast tracks offline as well too, so you can have it on here when you don't have an internet connection available. And you, this is what I want to show you here, you can see the nice little cool cover floor that they have here, which is pretty nice to kind of get a cool way to kind of go and sift through your music.